Hello friends, welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we have learned why Java doesn't allow multiple inheritance using classes because of the diamond problem, right? In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss multiple inheritance ambiguity with Java 8 interfaces. As you know that in from Java 8 onwards, you can define a method inside a classes, right? So let's say if you have a class, one class and that uh, implements two interfaces like interface one and interface two and there is a common method is available in these two interfaces then how this ambiguity is going to resolve java 8 and that's the that's the thing that's the thing we are going to discuss in this video tutorial now <coughs> multiple inheritance ambiguity with java 8 interfaces in java 8 interface default methods are added in java and uh, inclu inclusion of uh, default method interfaces may result in multiple inheritance issues right so let's see with an example like uh, let's assume there are two interfaces like my interface one and my interface two and both have default methods is called display greeting there is a class is called my class which implements both these interfaces my interface one and my interface two now uh, you will have to uh, look into the few scenario like uh, which implementation of default method uh, like uh, display greeting will be called when my class is implementing both interfaces my interface 1 and my interface 2 and not overriding the uh, display greeting methods means uh, my class doesn't override uh, 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 display greeting method then which method is going to inherit that's the first uh, scenario now which implementation of uh, display greeting will be called when my class is implementing uh, both interfaces interface 1 and interface 2 and overriding display greeting methods and providing its own implementation right so let's say uh, now at this time uh, uh, this method is available in the both the interfaces and this class my class is going to implement these uh, two interfaces and uh, and uh, uh, my class also override uh, that interface uh, that method if display greeting method then which method is going to call that's also uh, another scenario and final if uh, interface if interface my interface is inherited by uh, interface uh, my interface 2 then what will happen in that case right so there may be a situation like uh, uh, let's say uh, my interface 1 extends my interface 2 and uh, display greeting method is available in the both the interfaces then uh, how I mean how my class is going to manage in this in that case so all those kind of scenario we have to handle this kind of scenario Java defines a set of rules for resolving default method conflicts first rule when class implements both interfaces and both of them have the same default method also the class is not overriding that method then uh, the error will thrown so that will uh, compilation will tell you duplicate method duplicate default methods named or display greeting inherited from the interfaces so basically here compiler is forcing you to override uh, display greeting methods because this method signature is available in the both the implemented interface and that's the reason that will compiler will force you to override this method in your class right now second if implementing class overrides the default method and uh, provides its own functionality for the default method then the method of the class takes priority over the interface default methods right uh, and once your class implements uh, 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 I mean provides a definition of that um, method right uh, display greeting method then uh, priority goes to the overridden method in your class right now as example if my class provides uh, its own implementation of display greeting then the overridden method will be called not the default methods which is available in my interface 1 and my, my interface 2 that's the thing you will have to keep in mind now in case when an interface extends another interface right and both have the same default method the inheriting uh, uh, method default method will take precedence thus if interface my interface 2 extends my interface 1 then the default method of my interface 2 will take precedence right so it's very straightforward let's say if uh, display greeting method is available in my interface 1 and my interface 2 and my interface 2 extends my interface 1 
and uh, your class uh, let's say my class implements my interface 2 then precedence goes to the my interface 2 right so that's the all the rules you will have to keep in mind let's try to understand these things through an example so here you can see I, my interface 1 is having a default method so method definition is available saying that my interface and whatever message is coming that's i'm printing over here in real scenario you can have a complex business logic uh, you would have written over here now another interface my interface 2 my inter interface 2 with same method signature met you can see the method name same method argument is same and that's printing one message now uh, we have a class in this package or uh, client uh, one package or uh, my class that basically implements both the interfaces right and that's overriding this uh, method uh, display greeting methods if you do not override this method because this method signature is available in the both the interfaces then compiler will flag an error that will try to force th th that that will tell you to override this method so once you override this method and then you provide your own implementation then error will go away now in we in this class i have a main method and there i have created an object of this class and same object I am assigning to the both the references of these two interfaces and when I try to call this uh, uh, method display greeting method then there is only one implementation method and that is going to be called because uh, as we discussed in the slide priority goes to the uh, method which is overridden in the this subclass so uh, this these two call will not lead to the uh, this interfaces implemented method this will always call the method which is basically uh, which is basically overridden your own class if I run this class then you can see welcome and hello message is getting uh, printed if uh, uh, but but uh, a method which is default method over here is not getting called but let's say if you want to uh, let's say if your class implements uh, uh, these two interfaces and overriding this method but sometimes if, suppose if you have a requirement to call somehow uh, a method uh, which is default method available in the interface 1 or interface my interface 2 then how we can call those things so in that case you can use a super with default method so and that's the thing i have shown in the uh, client 2 package dot client 2 package and here you can see your class implements both the interfaces right and uh, from and of course again you will have to override display greeting method and there you can what you can do my interface 1 dot super dot display greeting method you can pass the message and here i have created an object of this class and i have assigned to reference of uh, my interface one let's say rename it as my interface one and when this reference will call to uh, display greeting then first of all call uh, will go to the your local method and from local method what we are doing my interface one dot super dot uh, display greeting so this will make call to the your uh, basically uh, method default method available in your interface and that's the way to call basically uh, default method available in your interface so if i run this uh, example then you can see my interface one and welcome message whatever you are sending from pro from here uh, that's getting printed let's say if you want to call a uh, uh, default method available in the my interface 2 then little change you will have to do over here what you have to do uh, here you will this line would be same and here my interface 2 my interface 2 equal to my class and my interface 2 dot display greeting and here you will have to do my interface 2 dot super dot display greeting then in that case that is gonna call a uh, default method available in the my interface 2 right so I hope uh, uh, still uh, uh, Java 8 come up with the solution even though your class implements uh, two interfaces and both the interfaces uh, is having uh, uh, with the same method signature right both the interfaces having the same default method is still somehow you can resolve this problem right so I hope uh, you understood this uh, uh, concept and uh, that's all I, I, I have to cover in this video tutorial I wanted to cover in this video tutorial guys big thank you for watching this video and if you really like this video then hit on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel as well